我が聖堂を阻むなやれやれ相変わらず融通の機関やつだ The wheel of fate is turning Rebel one action GM, GIM. Yes. So Moistrak, I'm not sure who he played, but I've actually, uh, I'm quite familiar with IGM. He is a Mexican Kagura player. Oh. He's, he's, he's pretty decent. I, I like him. That, that was was you know what? Cool he's, been, he's been playing a lot, too. He's been improving a lot lately. So let's just see how he plays in tournament here. Oh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Seeing a Kagura player go, uh, go for it is always really interesting. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love watching Kagura. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it, I don't get, we don't get to see enough, honestly. We don't, but it's also um, he's a character that can be played uh, very differently depending on the player. So it's oh, always yeah. something watching like Haru and then watching Serpent. Ooh, so I'm going with Jubes. Jubes. I love watching. Man, this is, this is gonna be an interesting matchup, man. I don't think I've seen this one before. Yeah, I actually, come to think of it. You got the, the slower character with the big buttons, Kagura. Uh, and then you have the small character who moves at the speed of sound. Yeah, He's so, got places to go. So this will be interesting because I would imagine that it's, it can be kind of hard for Kagura to catch a character like uh, like Jubei. He's uh, much faster by comparison. But uh, if he does catch him, man, it, it's going to hurt, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely a big thing for Moist Rock to test. Which, uh, if he's willing to test it at all is, I'm not sure how well you'd be able to react with Wyvern if Jubei throws out the ball. But if if you can, or if you're already in stance and you see the ball being thrown out, that's that's almost like a free punish right there. So we'll see how he decides to behave around that. I mean, the, the thing is though, is that I believe Jubei's able to throw it just high enough. He's able to throw it in the air too, just high enough to avoid Wyvern. Hmm, that's pretty well. Moistrock, but hopefully Moistrock doesn't uh, get caught slipping with that. Oh, oh already get oh, the Oh, nice, gets the Cradle right there, First decides to burn it right away, doesn't want to deal with it. Gets and another person. <laughs> California Specials, ooh, nice confirm here. Well, no, no one wants to get comboed, let's be honest here. True. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh yeah, just look at that. That wasn't even that matter. Wasn't even four, crazy four, starter. Four, four, four K. Four oh, so that's something we're gonna see with Jubei. Jubei can run through his opponent, and while the run through itself does have a fixed animation that you can't cancel, it is fairly quick. So it's gonna happen for people to get caught by it. Oh, that 5C almost comboing with the with the stance follow-up, but this one will hit. And should kill! Should be it, yep. Yeah, nice and clean. Good stunt thigh gem so far. Yeah, he's doing really well, but Moist Rock is, uh, is no slouch either. Where he's managing to get the hits. Oh, what a hit right there! How did the anti there? He gets another fatal! He's killing thigh gem with this so far. Uh, drops it, unfortunately. But through the block string is still managing to bring IGM all the way to the corner and hits him with the I like the back dash to catch a DP. That was, that was nice. Yeah, the back dash there was great, but the, the really low overheads there are great too. Hits him with another overhead, Jay. Oh, nice anti. He doesn't get anything off of it. Face a DP though. Face a DP and this is going to kill. This is going to kill actually. He finishes this up. No commentator's curse tonight, baby. Let's go. Finish it with seven gold letters too. Good stuff. Yeah. Seven golden letters, the perfect. Alright. Now he's keeping his face once again against Kagura. That seems like the appropriate thing to do. Ooh, I like the bait there for the Wyvern pairing. Good I stuff. like it too. He, he realized, hey, I'm that he, hey, he did the Wyvern a little bit late. I'm gonna punish it. Oh, goes for the anti air but misses the follow up. Unfortunate. Uh, he's two for two on the Lens so far, though. He's feeling really good about that. Oh, yeah. Right, an install. What are you gonna do with it, homie? Cross oh, does not block the cross up. This is a little bit. Oh, unless. Ooh, knocks him out of the air, though. Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Makes, making sure that his turn remains his own. You're getting a nice 3k for his troubles. Ooh, oh, 2 the classic. That's that it. Gets. Oh, unless. <laughs> Drops it. Unfortunate. Oh, now he's putting Game his stuff up right in there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Moist Rock is in. What are you doing with this? Ooh! -hoo! Oh, oh, overdrive through the uh, overhead, but not does not get the punish. Goes oh, for the man. Astro! Mashes Astro and gets it. Let's go! <laughs> Astro of the night here on this side of the stream, dude. Our first Astro of the night, and it's a reversal Astro. Mash That's through a block us. string. That's what I love to see. Let's go! Mash Astro, straight from Mexico, baby. Let's go. <laughs> you love to see it. Love to see it. Well, that was that was actually a really good game for both players. They both did yeah, both very players, excellent. Both players played really well, man. That was good. I'm excited to see how this. Uh, honestly, I think either player can take this set. If you ask yeah. me. Frankly, same thing here. Uh, with uh, Moist Rock having really excellent offense, but just sometimes failing to. Um, to truly confirm off of it. Oh yeah. 
I think. Oh, more strokes switching to Hibiki. Hibiki. So I think this will be a little bit better because Hibiki does have a. Uh, it's on the easier side as far as confirms are concerned. I'd like to think. So I think it'll be a bit better. It'll probably be a bit more comfy uh, going with Hibiki here. And Hibiki, I mean, similar thing with Jubei, fast character. Uh, I, I would imagine it'd be pretty hard for Kagura to catch him too. Um, uh, he has a bigger array of uh, projectiles in the sense that he can throw his shadow on the ground, through the ground, in the air. And much more trickier ways of getting in too, so let's just see how IGM uh, how he answers that. There's the overdrive. Can't overdrive for that one, homie. It's 5B. Yeah. Oh, does not manage to get a punish after that one. That's a, that's a pretty oh, hard uh, move to punish depending on the distance, but does get a nice confirm. Ooh, this bringing him good, all the way to the corner. Combos, dude. He's already looking a lot better. Catches the roll! Yeah, don't you roll on me. Let's go. Yeah. Nice throw. That should be nice. it. And that is it. Yes, sir. I mean, Bear lost any health, kept his burst. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you couldn't get a better round than that. Let's see if we can keep it up. Oh, right. getting his burst Here back is. right away. Oh, and bursting right away as well. Ooh, pizza cutter. Nice confirm. Nice confirm. Get him low. Moist Rock deciding he does not want to be in the corner. Uh, yeah, by like getting hit by Cogger, so he decides, no, we're headed out. Cross up. Uh, Hibiki's JST is just so excellent at catching those cross up. Manages to get him with the reset! Classic, dude, let's go! Let's go, this is gonna kill! Alright, he's super dead. We're done. <laughs> 5A reset into 6C, a classic! I haven't seen that. Yeah, I actually have not seen that one since the, since the CP days, man. Ah. Uh. Ooh, catch it with the 2C there. Get some OP off the ball. Oh, I, nice DP I there! Have a real blaster. Ooh, cross up. Come off it though. It's air. Oh, what a confirm! Getting the side switch there. Three K off of that man. Jeez. Oh, we are actually on set point right now for Mr. IGM GIM. So let's see if Moist Rock can take it back. Well, if you can't block overheads though. Ooh, it, though. Nice oh, once again. Are we gonna see another 3k? No, he decides to go for the Oki instead. Nice overdrive to the Wyvern. Ooh, 5A started though, so he's not quite dead. Five, two 5As as a starter too, so it's gonna be even worse in that regard. Oh! He was for the reset! Oh, oh, oh he, he, doesn't, he doesn't finish it though! That was so cool! Ooh! Oh! Okay. Oh, 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 just <laughs> barely misses the pizza cutter, man. That was footsies. Good stuff to Moist Rock. I, oh, that was something, all right. <laughs> I almost yelled third strike at the top of my lungs. That was some, <laughs> that was some footsies. Pizza Cutter with hit the hurt box. Yeah, Beautiful. Footsies, son. That's what I footsies. like to see. True, honest-to-goodness Street Fighter happening right now. Moist Rock tying it up 1-1 one, one right now in the set. It's like I said, man, anyone can take it. Anyone, anyone can, take, can right take it. And that, that Hibiki is no joke. I Yeah, dude, that reset, that was dope. That was dope, dude. Man, I want to see more of that. Yeah, absolutely. That was that was mwah, beautiful. Sir, yes, sir. Let me close take a little bit of time here. That's good. They got to take the time they need, properly reset themselves, and then come into it fresh. Please select your character. And uh, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be seeing any switches here. I Jim, fully dedicated to Kagura. Oh yeah, he's going. He, Kagura he, players are all about Kagura. Oh yeah, dude. For sure. Oh, Moist Rock taking his time. I think they're just letting the entire timer go down before... Uh... I mean, take your time, you know. No need to go straight into it. Give oh. yourself a little bit of time between there you uh, go. matches. There you go. Alright. Here we go. Getting into the last match here in the set. 1-1. One, one. Whoever loses is going to be sent down the losers. You got to make the run through there. Ooh, who's gonna take it? Who's gonna take it? We've seen some really good uh, BFAF anti-airs from uh, GIM. But we've also seen like a really strong offensive sense on Moist Rock, which even was, was present during Jubei. He's just having an easier time of uh, making it happen with Hibiki. And, and you know what? He's been doing a really good job navigating uh, neutral against Kagura. He hasn't been getting hit by uh, many Wyvern. 
Doing pretty good. Well, I say Ooh. that. I think it's a pizza cutter. It's okay. It's right. I'm here with the wake up DP. Punish the 2C. Oh, gets hit by the wave from there, however. Drops the combo. He's been instant blocking that that low slide really uh, well, actually, so far. Cross up here. Ooh, oh, tries to go reset. That would have been nasty. And that would have been Izuna drop starting too, so if he wrapped it at that, that would have been a lot. Oh, gets him with the late air dash there, but does not confirm it. Now this combo oh. should kill. He's been blowing IG up and trying to get up with that overhead. Oh, it's, it's a pretty good overhead. Yeah, he's got to do something about it. And, oh, Jack coming in with the coffee pasta too. <laughs> oh, man. And Jim said, Mexico, give me your energy. Oh! <laughs> yeah, man said, nice no push up for me tonight. Nice tech. Really well done. Uh, does not get the confirmed there. Nice Goes to the JC once again. Hibiki's JST is no joke at all, and he's really making good usage of it with those cross ups. Oh. Nice down the slide. Gets Go nice punch the same reason that. Oh, 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 I love it! Let's go. He's he's not giving IGM a chance. He's going, no, 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 no. We're done here. Let's go. I don't have time. Oh. Wait. What a uh, DP. Hit some cross up. Man. So many cross ups this set. I didn't have it yet, though. All he needs is one, maybe two combos. You can easily take this round. He's been really trying to catch him with the pizza cutter there, man. But, uh, the it's worked out for him a couple of times. Yeah. That's why I'm staying aware of it, though. Ooh, try to be oh, careful. Oh, gets the Clipped. He has to be careful. It's a match point. Oh, oh run up, run up. That's it. That was good. That was so smart. You just run up. Run up and do the cross up. Um, I don't know what the move's called. So we're going to call it Hell's Fang. Cross up Hell's Fang right there. You Ragna players, not every special is Hellos Fang, dummy. You're right, some specials are Gauntlet Hades. True! <laughs>just get your rock back and toss it even before the end of the combo. Oh, yeah. He's got everything down on lock. Just so he manages to keep yep. the same level of of, uh, of gameplay today, he's good. Oh yeah, I mean this character is super good, super consistent. Um, and I expect nothing less, let's see how this goes. Both these right. players in general though, really strong. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh. Ooh, with overhead, trades off it though. Get him with another overhead right away. Moist Rock is not wasting any time just going in like I'm gonna I'm gonna press overhead. Yeah. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna spend more time than I have to fighting now. I'm really not trying to do Julio any space. So an interesting thing about nine is that nine can switch whichever spell she has to a backstock and then use that spell later. And it's very useful in pressure because it means she can basically oh, gets the combo there. Oh no, it doesn't get the combo, it gets the open. That's all you need. Meteor shower. Meteor manages Ooh. to get out through the teleport. Trying to get out, that was smart. Overhead. Yeah, that, that was really good. Let's be aware. Oh no, you're not allowed to cast a spell at me. Let's go. Call so, out the spell. There. Oh, there it is. All oh, the combo drops, unfortunately. We're really having a little bit of trouble right now against this Tabiki, man. Mr. Rock showing he is no slouch right now in the matchup. Oh, Ooh, that's it. Them, though. He, boom, I boom. I, I do believe that this is death. Explodes. And, oh yeah, no, oh. missed the last one. That is so oh, space independent that it's really rough to do. Goes for the god hand, blocks it. Just loose. Blocks I the god hand once pressure. again. Oh. Doesn't block the third one, though. Doesn't block the third overhead. Unfortunate. It's okay. In fairness, I didn't block any of those, so it's already doing better <laughs> than I would. Now, the third hand is not too bad of a reaction to make. She, it has a fair amount of startup. If you're looking at nine, you should be all right. But it's just the sheer amount of them that he was willing to throw out. Oh, here's a hard to blockable. Oh, yeah. Let's block on the David Pressure. Julio really not letting him out the corner, though. No, sir. Burst out. It has to. Doesn't have a choice. Julio really already up around. Ooh, nice patch there. Julio really gonna be taking it. Nice, easy, simple. 
Nice, strong ending there. That that first round, that first round was a lot of, uh, a lot of, oh gosh, I gotta get myself established for both players. And they both, like, brought it all the way down to the wire. That second round, that was a, that was a nine he was round. Completely, Julio was just completely control. He was like, you know what, my hand's warmed up now. Let, let me, let me start actually playing now. And uh, he just, <laughs> that was, it was just super convincing, that second round. That was really well done of him. Uh, really breaking out those setups, like I said, he has, has the hard to blockable setups. Whenever he does a uh, whenever he does a spell switch and he uses the air 5B, the big spike as an ender, he's immediately sw uh, he's just always ready to go for the hard to blockable setup in neutral. Not, not, where not consistent uh, mid screen, but man, in the corner, I mean. It might as well be an unblockable, if I'm being honest. In the corner, it is an unblockable. Oh yeah, it pretty much is an unblockable, isn't it? Because I it's not the original sequence that's the unblockable. The falling JA into the, the seeds isn't the unblockable, it's the rising JA afterwards, J2A afterwards. Oh, true, yeah, 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 that's what it is. Okay, okay, okay. But mid-screen, if you don't late tech, it will absolutely hit you with a really hard to blockable right there. Which was why when Moist Rock late teched the one that he had, uh, the second one there where he was on the left, that was a really great decision of his, because that's how you want to deal with it mid-screen. Okay, now switching to Jubei. Jubei, uh, just a tad bit faster, especially on the ground here. He doesn't have the advantage of Shadows, but... Uh, he does have the advantage of having a really good set play, as we'll see here. Catches the roll, and confirms off of it, good stuff. Well, the, the one thing... The, the one thing about that set play, sorry to interrupt. The, the one thing about that set play is that uh, since it's a projectile, Nine can dash through it on uh, on Wake Up consistently since her dash is frame one projectile invincible. Oh really? Oh there you go. Just, just as you said. Well, that is true, right? yeah. yeah. Nine, Nine's a character that can do a couple things. Yeah, just, just a couple, yeah. Yeah, just a couple. Uh... Oh, nice anti -air. Hitting her That's behind hard. him. Looks like looking a bit better here, but hopefully they don't get a repeat of the last match. Though. Oh, that was that was a very good block on the reset there from Moist Rod. Not oh, letting himself get pranked, and that is the first round. Moist Rock going in with the hairball into install. Getting his first round on the board here in the set. See if he can keep it up. Oh, get nice. Manages to, I think, get the anti air prematurely. Now got him in the corner. Got him. Rock. Take a block. Ooh, tries to catch him there. Sneaky. Let's go for the prank, however. Rock. Let's go. Navy press. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> So, interesting thing with the uh, freeze is after the freeze, the opponent is put back into a standing state, which means you can do funky little, uh, funky little reset pranks like right there. It's very deadly. Ooh, tries to take the DP there, but doesn't quite get it. Ooh, JD, he's in. Catch and roll, good stuff. This is going to give him the corner, I think? Yes. There we go. Oh, it's a low. Ball low key. I'm blocking oh. these! Oh, let's go. And he, he has out. to burst. He, he has to burst. Yeah, he didn't have a choice. <laughs> now, of course, this is still 9. A single hit... Oh, decides to burst right away, because, like I, as I was going to say, a single hit might be all she needs. Oh, yeah. Because once, once the train gets oh. going... That's JD, but Dash is away from him. Julio has been dodging, th has been dashing through those JDs fairly reliably. His, his movement is looking so good right now. Oh, right now, Moist Rock is, Moist Rock is just going for the approach of if I stay at full screen, and I just never have to deal with nine, then I just never have to deal with nine. Yeah, and y you know what? Also, he has so much more health that you know he can just do this. It doesn't matter because oh. nine, while her normal has oh, so many, she only has so many like projectiles. You know, she only covers, yeah. like, she covers like such specific parts of the screen that like Dewey can just run away. Yeah, and there's wow, also, really when Nine doesn't have any stocks, uh, like some of her best projectiles, she has some really good stuff in her stocks, but if she doesn't have any of them, she's a lot more limited. Oh, yeah. So, just the approach that Moist Rock took there, of just staying at full screen, and if she were to approach with a jump or with a dash, just going through her and staying at full screen, 
That was the perfect way of trying to goad Julio Carrera into doing something that would uh, that would cost him the game. Which was like excellent gameplay from Moist Rock right there. Yeah, he played that. I, I mean, I couldn't have played it better myself, honestly. That was just super good. Let's see if he can keep it up here. Ties up the set here, one to one. Anyone's set here right now. Anyone's set right now. It's true. Because it, those rounds, like, Julio took a solid round, and then after that, the, both of the rounds that Moist Rock took, he had to work for them pretty hard. Oh, yeah. And, oh! Julio breaking out? Is that a different color than your earlier? Yeah, again, the colors change, I think. It's he's power the, up color. the power up now, yeah, he's getting the power up right now. This, of course, being a lower matchup, they have a lot to say to the, each other before the, uh, before the match begins. Alright, let's go. Oh, the dash forward for Julio. Whiffing that spell, though, unfortunate. Pushing Julio all the way to the corner. We're busting out. Percy immediately does not want to get started on anything. I don't blame him. Rock! Oh. Gets the rock once more in the combo. Goes for the freeze into Ooh. a grab reset. That was sneaky. That was one of Nine's patented pranks. Oh. Right. Rock! In no, instead of rock, that was the 3 3 that got the Juve actually. 2 3 and he got really, really delayed low. And oh, that was almost it. Julio yeah. taking it back at the last second. Julio right now is absolutely just busting out all of the, uh... Yeah, the, color, the color change is doing wonders for him, man. Look at him go. Those those might be, uh... I think that's the, the, the 24 color, the, the sort of nurse colors. But this nurse is into pranks. She's 100% not, uh, not, uh... Not letting Jubei get away with anything right now. Rock blocks it, though. Oh, it's dash it to the game, you again. Ooh, nice dash to 2B. Rock the low, but not the over. Backing up Berserker Barrage. Nice, JD. Very well done. Oh, almost catches the- almost punishes the roll. Why uh, uses install yet? Oh, okay. Wake up super. Does him full screen. Gets out of the god hand. Goes for the hairball install. Oh, right, here we go. The time is now, my boy. Oh, burst out. Nice, oh. JD, man. Ooh, doesn't quite confirm though. Berserker Barrage, rapid! Really was not ready for it. Should be it. Nice, quick, simple. And, and now. That's what the rounds. Both are on match point. Both are on set point. Or set point. Probably. Like, well, they're both on match point, but also on set, set point. point. Yeah, you know what? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Nice, run up 2B. Catches the roll again. Catches the roll, but doesn't punish it once again. Well, it doesn't fully go through on the punish. Dashes through the burst with barrage, very well done. You know, I I'm liking the, the use of burst here, but he has to be really careful. Did you uh, see that run up to be going deal. under the J like that? That was good. This is all confirmed. All Loki. Ooh, catches them, that should be it. Oh, that, that should be it, that's absolutely it. Oh, there it is! Burst as well! Beautiful. He had, he had to try. Quite literally could not have played it better myself. I mean, that was great. That was beautifully done by Moist Rock. Absolutely wonderful. Oh yeah, dude. that was that was a good set. I, I'm loving the switch. Worked out really well for him. Loving the adaption. I mean, it was it was great. Played his heart out in that one. Upset continues. Moist Rock going. With a money. Oh, I, I, he was hovering a money, but I wasn't sure if he was actually going to go. This, uh, you know, the, we were talking about this on our side of the pools, but th these are so, some matchups I've been seeing today, matchups I've never seen before. This is one of them. I've never seen my versus a money. But, I mean, thinking about it, I don't think a money will be able to really contest my neutral, even with his quote unquote longer range, because all of those are extended hurt boxes. It's going to be kind of difficult. On top of that, if my gets in, he doesn't have a reversal. That is true. Mai is a uh, very, very good at threading the needle with their movement. So, like you said, those big normals might. Oh, immediate overdrive! And he wants to rush that level three drill. That's the thing with resource ODs is that even if, like right now, he's taking a combo, at least he got level two drill. That's what he wanted. 
Oh. You, see, you see a chance to get out here, and you can actually take advantage of that, but right now this is pretty bad as now he's now in the corner taking combos with no burst, so that was a risk that might not pay off. Goten with the aggressive pressure in the corner. Tons of damage. All right, uh, with that empty... Yeah, with that empty jump low, Kyochan just absolutely went through Moistrock, but you know, Moistrock got the first back, so it's like that first round OD didn't even happen. Oh, there's the first. Just playing. All right, defensive drill. Amani is a character that has uh, seen a lot of changes with his drill mechanic in CF. Has he? In older games, in older games generally with his level up, it was very, very much all or nothing, you just get it, and then you set play with it, and you try to chip him out, right? Oh my god, double perfect from Kyochin. Yeah, I'm not sure if Amani was the pick you wanted to go with. Like, that's a very difficult matchup. Amani is just so mobile, so fast, very hard for Amani to really even lock it down and get his game plan going. Like, we even saw him spending his OD to try and get that early level 3 drill, but it just did not pay off. He got hit, and then that was over. Round 1, second game, he used, used it as a burst to try and, you know, return to neutral. Still not enough. I end up getting the double perfect. Uh, dominating performance by Kyochin. Let's see if Moist Rock does end up making a swap here. Like th there is a chance that they do that they have some tech for this matchup, and just the worst case scenario happened two rounds in a row. But if they play I'm... multiple characters at a similar level. If I were them, I would be considering, at least considering a swap. And yeah, we're going to Jubei here. You know, if there was some kind of secret Amani versus my tech that like just absolutely blows up my, that'd be so hype. Like it's always so cool seeing <laughs> yeah. this hidden tech just bust out of nowhere in the middle of a, a big championship. That looks like we're switching to Jubei. Jubei, very solid character, of course, definitely underrated, but again, this is a matchup that can be pretty difficult for him as well. Amai is just very oppressive. Yeah, let's see if the swap does Moist Rock any favors. Immediate spear hit. Kyochan. Couldn't, couldn't quite get the fireball set up because of the redirected spear. It's like we're getting some distance. Kyochan just carefully playing their effective range, not moving in, making it Moist Rock's job to kind of get in past the spears. And it looks like Kyochan. It just feels very comfortable playing at these safe neutral ranges and fishing for hits. And they've gotten quite a bit of mileage off of it already. This is the first clean hit. Moist Rock is already at 30% life. And it looks like uh, Moist Rock is playing a more neutral focused Jubei. He's been kind of spacing himself out, which is something you don't want to do against Mai. Because that's where Mai is going to have a big advantage over Jubei. Face the counter they hit twice. Well. Yeah, that's uh, three perfects. Currently feeling like Yo John is on Moist Rock's brain wave. They have figured out their thought patterns and they are cooking. Ah uh, yes, Jubei 6 a does not counter overheads. It only counters mids. There's the OD trying to get out. Kyo putting some distance with it too, but immediately can go back in, trying to D out of the corner. Moist Rock uh, no. getting the hit. No triple or uh, quadruple perfect, but Kyo immediately burst. Just wants to end this as quick as possible. That's actually going to be it. Kyo Chan, a dominating performance, winning the set 2 0. That was an incredibly fast set. Three perfects and one hit, maybe two, I think, in the uh, last game. But yeah, Kyo really showing why she's probably the favorite to win this tournament. But we won't count on Moist Rock just yet because this was still winner's side and he'll be. Rachel, Moist Rock, you mentioned they played multiple characters. They are yeah. pulling out their Hibiki here. Yeah, this is the third character we've seen from Moist Rock in top eight. Uh, those are the three characters that uh, Moist Rock does play, and now we've seen all of them. Or I guess we will be seeing all of them. So, Hibiki versus uh, Rachel. Hibiki yes. has a lot of tricky movement options that let him traverse the screen pretty fast. 
He has a reversal. That all being said, I still feel like this matchup probably pretty good for Rachel, right? I mean, finding a, a matchup Rachel like is handily loose to is pretty hard. But out of the three options that Moist Rock has in his little pocket, uh, he he's probably the best. Amani is probably not the choice. He can get zoned out. Uh, we have seen Blood Bro very familiar with the Jube matchup at this point. And so it looks like Hibiki will oh, probably be the better choice. We did see him close the gap really fast there. And he has a reversal. That's the big one. We just saw it right there. Uh, Rachel's going to have to play around Hibiki's reversal. Yeah, Moist Rock definitely doing some work here. Ooh, gets caught by anti air catch here. And now they are in the mix up. Damage bringing to the corner. Not quite yet. Oh, now we're going to the corner. We got those instant air dash combos. Got the corner, gonna set up George probably. Uh, there we go, there's George. Meters. And catches Ooh. the roll. You can't really be rolling against Rachel. Though, uh, there are some little tech options you can do against Rachel, such as delay attacking George. You don't have to take that whole block string there. But you cannot roll. That is something you cannot do. It's the ABCs of Blaze Blue defense. Always be considering not rolling. Yes. But what he, what he said. He's the commentator, <laughs> man. I, <I'm> just... <laughs> but it looks like the ABCs might not be quite enough here. Moist Rock is getting put on the ground again. Goes for the Quake Tech, but that's not enough to escape Rachel's relentless pressure. So the question is, will they be able to block this last critical mix-up? Or will they just die? That could also no. happen, too. No, he's not dead yet, but dies to chip. You gotta watch out. Uh, all specials in Blazely do have chip. So, and you can die to chip in place. You gotta, you gotta barrier that. You gotta barrier block. Chip death is a leading cause of premature demise for yeah, the age range of 18 to 45. Please make, consult your doctor if you're getting chip killed. Yeah, please make sure you take your barrier vaccines. <laughs> it's important. Please barrier block for your health. You know, we don't want to end up like uh, like Eviki over here. Learn from example. The more you know. Yes. Learning with Blaze Blue. Learning with Blaze Blue. Uh, it looks like Moist Rock is considering their next move. Will they stick with the Biki? I mean, like Will I said, I, I don't. Mm, I don't think any of his character switches. Yeah, like he's sticking with Hibiki. I don't think any of the characters would have been the correct choice. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure he's most comfortable on Hibiki, anyways. So, gotta stick with your guns. Especially when you have so much on the line now. Because last time he was in Winter Side, now he's on losers. He can't afford to lose. So, you gotta bring out all the stops. Just gotta play around. Uh, what, what happened last time? Learn from your mistakes. Use barrier block when necessary. <laughs> you know? Please take your barrier prescription. Your doctor prescribed it for a reason. Uh, I'm not actually a commentator, I'm a Blaze Blue Doctor, so take it from me. <laughs> but here we go, <laughs> going into game two. Crouch is underneath the low belly. I didn't actually know you could low profile that with Hibiki. See, every match is learning. That's the new That's, tech. I mean, yeah, you learn something new every day, right? Taking Rachel to the corner here. Tried to backdash. Does not work out, but you guys get the 2C. And we're side swapping. Yeah, very nice. And now Hibiki's in a bad position. DP's out though. Good stuff. Able to make their way out of the corner. Pressing the super to re to guarantee the reset back to neutral. Also, uh, when Rachel uses Tempest Dolly, she gets two stacks of win back. Getting the win back, getting back to neutral. What more could you ask for? A guard crush, that's what. Now, we haven't seen it yet, but uh, that was an uncharged crush trigger, so there was no combo off it. And in fact, this could be it. This is active flow, so the damage is enhanced, and that is going to be it. That was 4k. That was a lot. That was a big one. Moist Rock that's... on the board. Oh, that beat out 6c. That's interesting, considering 3c is pretty low to the ground. Blood Bro, a little cautious there, not wanting to get DP'd again. Moist Rock taking the opportunity to try to escape the corner. Oh, big catch here. Where burst, Moist Rock's bursting, even though he's up around. I guess if you're going to do that, you might as well do it early. But right now, he's not in a good position. Gets caught standing. He might have been trying to hit DP. 
getting some wind back. Oh, not the right spot to teleport to. And Bloodbro threw out George, a Labella, and Super. That was the stay in the corner right now setup. And he wasn't even in the corner. <laughs> he just teleported up to Rage and I hit my MVP. That's what happens when you don't stay in the corner. Bloodbro uh. gave a command, and the command was not heeded. There, George, menacing aura. Oh, there's bats <laughs> everywhere. They're having a Halloween party. Ooh, confirms. Catches them overhead once again. Bring him to the corner. Moist Rock will get burst back, but this is scary. Yeah, right now Rachel's on a perfect and also on set point. There's the DP, that's the momentum shift he might have needed. Catches the back dash. Ooh, taking some damage with a Zuna drop. It's a cross up overhead. Big counter Blue hit beat. has a lot of meter. Tried to turn the blue bait into reset, but Bloodlord did not tech. Both players on astral points. Ah, uh, that's. He tried to go for the technique where you just super and spend 100 meter of their block, but it actually ended up whipping because of Rachel's mobility. So, Unfortunate. Spending all the resources, trying to go for the invisible yeah. purple, <laughs> but the moisture's ready. Oh god, the cross up, that's gonna oh, they, be it! They bet it all on that illegal maneuver and Moist Rock took it back! One, well, I, one! I think both of them kind of performed illegal maneuvers there with the invisible <laughs> yeah. purple. And then the full screen teleport cross up was also pretty illegal if you ask me. <laughs> You know, if you hit me below the belt, I hit you back. I can respect <laughs> that. These are not law-abiding citizens anymore. This is a match to get into loser semis. You gotta pull out the illegal techniques. <laughs> so what other kind of illegal techniques will we be seeing now? Their lives are on the line. Anything <laughs> could happen. Yeah. Full screen invisible purple throw definitely gets you a... Uh, 20 to life. Oh, <laughs> we gotta have like the, the easy or thing where she knocks you so high you're not on screen anymore and then she purple stirs you. Yeah! <laughs> just fly off the screen with Rachel for 40 seconds and then do the cat chair drop just on a random spot somewhere on the screen. Oh, that is true. Rachel is one of the characters who can pretty uh, can stall you out in pretty weird ways because she can hover in the air with wind. Ooh, good song though. Uh, I actually have this modded out, so I can't hear it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Powerful. That is the most illegal maneuver of all. <laughs> OST mods. You can't hit me with the music mix-up if I can't hear your mix-up. <laughs> Moist Rock, getting that first hit, both players is kind of trading glancing blows here. Gets hit by the Lavellia, now we're always ODing out. Grab! No, what a grab! That's the answer we need for the chair, but does jump grab combo. Yeah, not quite getting the uh, ender there, but they are getting another neutral hit. Moist Rock doing work with the Beaky. Yeah, spending the beer to convert off the Yuzin job, forcing Blood Bro to burst. And they have quite a sizable life lead here. Rachel getting her win back, spending the win she just got back for the instant overhead, so it pays off. Ooh, that was tricky to block. I definitely got opened up there. Yeah, you gotta watch out for Rachel's 5B, because she can go high-low with it pretty fast, because that's how she uh, goes for instant overhead. Moist Rock holding on to the burst. 6A, I'm not sure that's what we wanted, but that's okay. Gets a hit, we return to neutral. DP. Oh, counter assault, that's fine too. Rachel Wind's out of there. <laughs> yeah, put some distance in. That was a great clone going for the kill. Yo, we got these. Hits the super. This and is going to do it. Yeah, that's it. Or at least for round one. That was a fantastic clone from Moist Rock. Closing the gap and getting the full conversion into death. Moist Rock looking real strong right now on set point. Oh, gets anti-aired by the Lobelia. 
He's getting Blood... swarmed by bats! <laughs> Blood Bro has entered the zoning dimension. Will Boy Frog be able to make it in? Oh he's no! Lost... He's lost pretty much all his life from zoning and now he's in the corner! This is one thing that Blood Bro has shown over the course of this bracket that they're very comfortable with doing, is just kind of flipping that switch from uh, neutral rushdown to just pure zoning at the drop of a hat. And they've caught people off guard a lot with it. That's the first I don't agree with, but Ooh, maybe Rock, you can turn taking around. a huge bet here. Oh, watch out. The blocks is an overhead, but not ready for the grab. First thing like that did not pay off. Now he's in a bad situation with no burst. Especially against a character like Rachel. Moist Rock has to win neutral here or they're in trouble. Speaking of winning neutral, Moist Rock loses neutral, gets air grab. Uh-oh, this is bad. Even if they do get their burst back, if they eat another couple mix-ups, they're gonna be at such a life deficit. I don't even think Moist Rock get the burst back at the rate we're going. It doesn't matter, we're in OD. Oh my god, look at that damage. Oh, we got the burst, but we're living life on the edge. And now Blood Bro can just go back to that zoning game. It, every hit from the zoning functionally kills at this point. But oh, we don't even jab. need zoning. Just gonna strike him in the kneecaps. That was a great set. Congratulations to Blood Bro on taking it. But an amazing set from both players. Yeah, Blood Bros has been running it back all the way from losers, making it up to uh, loser semis now.